Hi, my dear Astro family. Here is the video of the aspect of the week, and I chose Mercury North Node conjunction, which is actually being squared by Ceres and the Moon as well at the same time. So I want to break it down for you. First of all, if you want to know how it might play out for your rising sign, you can consider actually joining my YouTube membership program. You're going to have to pay a certain amount of fee, but you will receive 10 videos a month extra, which is not available for everyone, just for the members. And secondly, I am going to be making a webinar on your attachment style. And the reason why I chose to announce this is because series and moon aspects are really about attachment styles. And in the next couple of months, this is something that you're going to have to work on. Why two months? Is because Mercury will be retrograding on North Node. Mercury is meeting North Node and Chiron on 15 degree of Aries. And that's going to be taking place depending on where you are on the 18th or 19th of March. Also very interesting that this is the time when Mercury enters its shadow zone, zone as well. So it's going to be very important that we examine our inner world a little bit. So this is one key point here. The second one is, let's talk about attachment styles very briefly. So attachment styles are represented by specifically your moon or series position in the chart. And how you would do that is you would need to be looking at your moon aspects, the closest aspect to your chart. And it can be used in two ways, in a positive and negative way, of course. For example, one of the closest aspects my moon has is the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction. So when the parents use that well, meaning that let's say with Jupiter and Uranus, they believe in you, they accept your unique skills, or they accept that you are a unique child, if they support you, if they make you feel enthusiastic, if they teach you, then it's going to be playing out really well in your life and it's going to be affecting your relationship departments very positively. Why am I bringing the relationship topics into this? The reason why I do that is because the moon is the natural ruler of the fourth house, which is actually squaring your seventh house cusp. And when that is not dealt with in an uh, appropriate way, then unfortunately it's going to be affecting your relationship department significantly. So to give you a little bit more understanding over this, Moon represents how we bond with someone, but also it's the planet of separation as well. Why is that? Because you are growing in mummy's belly and at one point, you're going to enter this really crazy world. So you are experiencing a certain type of separation from your mom. And then you're going to be experiencing many separations from your family. You're going to grow up. You're going to leave the family nest. And then you're going to start a new life, potentially with your partner or on your own and so forth. So the way how you were raised is, has got a huge impact on your relationship department. So this is something I'm going to be examining in this upcoming webinar, and that is going to be taking place in April. <laughs> Hopefully, this is going to give you loads of psychological healing, and I'm going to actually show you some ways as well how you can work with this in a positive way. So Mercury, North Node, and Chiron Triple Conjunction. This is probably a very important one because it is getting highlighted or with all the upcoming eclipses as well, actually. So let's break that down for you. First of all, Mercury is going to start slowing down. So I don't recommend rushing this healing process. This is telling you to plan something out now. Whatever North Node touches, it gives that insatiable hunger to the planet. So we might be very hungry to communicate about our pain. We might feel very hungry actually to get started on that healing journey as well. But we also can expect quick results and the healing doesn't happen from one day to another. 
it can indicate that you are so keen to get a piece of information that you need to kind of be able to fit that element of puzzle, the little piece into the puzzle so that you can see the full picture. You might want to get off something of your chest. You might want to make a quick decision about something such as, you know what, I'm going to attend a self-development course. And don't get me wrong, this is a very good one to do. But it also tells you to step back a little bit and examine whether this is the right one for you as well. So not to rush into making a quick decision about something. Mercury North Node, Chiron wants to be finalizing something too quickly, you know, like finishing up a project. But what it leaves us with is the possibility to make mistakes. You can over communicate, you can easily hurt with words or whatever others are saying to you can play a major impact on on your own self-esteem. Remember that Aries is about entitlement. So one of the topics that come up on a collective level for many that are entitled to communicate, I should not be shut up by others. I am entitled to express my opinion. I'm entitled to have mental stimulations by others. I'm entitled to be listened to, to be understood, but it has got, you know, another side of the coin as well, which is telling you that in order for you to be listened to, you're going to have to hear what others are saying to you as well. This is about processing the information that others are sharing with you. And often this is going to come in the picture of a judgment or feeling criticized. How does that affect your self-esteem? Also, this could uh, be showing some anxiousness about having to talk about something or having to express something about your own pain as well. Because let's be frank, it's not easy to talk about trauma and pain. You might wanna be, you might feel a little bit itchy and then you wanna do loads of things all at once, kind of like juggling between certain type of uh, tasks. And this is giving us the opportunity to somehow make certain type of mistakes. Also, when it comes to Mercury and North Node together, your mental capacity is kind of enhanced. This is about using your intellect, understanding your life path, North, North Node, but also understanding the blockages around that as well. And that's Chiron, why we do not get there easily. This is about the ability to see the light at the end of the uh, tunnel. This is about enhancing your communication abilities, maybe being a little bit more rational. Sometimes you're going to have to have a bit of a logic as well. Those are some of the Mercury talents, right? To approach a situation in a systematic way. This is about starting something fresh, having an innovative idea, uh, which can be done in multiple ways. So that idea needs to be walked around a little bit and then looking at what is the best possible way, maybe what is the shortest way. But also this constellation tells you that the shortest way is not always the bestest way as well. Sometimes we're going to have to approach our mission and pain with a wit bit of wit and fun as well. This is talking to you about the tricking the mind type. So how are you going to take off your mind of certain type of pains? But it's not about walking away the uh, pain. It's about rolling up the sleeves and then facing them. This is telling you that it's time to embrace the change, to be a little bit more versatile, to, again, getting out of your comfort zone or getting out of all the self-limitations what you've got and having to leave something behind. Detrimental ruler of this combination is Saturn, which is the planet of fears. And Saturn is in the sign of Pisces. So this is telling you that there are certain type of subconscious limitations that you need to start speaking about. This is about kind of talking against all those inner demons that are holding us back. Now, this could talk to you about you know, something to do with the early childhood, for example, something was said to you, something was done to you, and then you feel like I cannot speak up. I feel like I cannot express truly who you are. 
maybe you feel not intelligent enough. That's why you are afraid of expressing certain certain thoughts. Maybe that's the reason why you are unable to see the patterns happening in your life. Maybe this is also telling you that um, you are just feel uneducated because you didn't take certain type of courses, for example, or you didn't attend, I don't know, a certain type of, um, you know, education. And then you feel that it's needed for you to complete something. And that's why you're going to end up studying, for example. But then this combination might be telling you to check whether you do need that type of um, study or not. Can you do that without it? If you feel that you need it, then go for it. Iron and Mercury together can be very shy about talking. But Aries is not shying away from that. So it could talk to us about an internal struggle, when to talk, when not to talk. This could talk to us about sibling rivalries as well or difficult relationships with a sibling that needs to be healed. This could talk to you about that you were teased, you were bullied about how you said things and uh, maybe someone, you know, kind of ridiculed you and that got stuck in your brain and now it needs to be digged up and flushed on the toilet. Maybe you feel that you are not entitled to speak about your goals and pains because others have got their own pain as well and mine might be not as important as others because others have gone through, you know, much worse than me. But your pain is your pain and that is the biggest pain for you. This is telling you not to compare yourself with others. Your opinion counts just as much as other people's opinion. You might have got the belief system that I'm boring, I'm stupid, or I cannot make a mistake. And I therefore I need to learn. And I shouldn't be talking until I've got all the facts, data, and information what I need. So with that Aries, we are really motivated to get that missing piece. Also, this could talk to you about, to a certain extent, popularity as well. And I'm only going to be popular once I express the true, true identity or I demonstrate the right communication skills. This is all about spreading your ideas. This is about my ideas, whether they are accepted or agreed to or not. It is about being mindful about your status Cool. Often, this comes with a little bit of a controversial type of energy, or it comes a little bit more challenging. I mean, remember that the dispositor, Mars, is actually in the sign of Aquarius, which is about reaching out to the masses. It's about influencing other people, standing up against social justice. Yes, I think there is a need here to reflect a little bit more on your intellectual power, on your communication abilities, uh, uh, looking at things from multiple angle, being versatile, uh, and trying out variety of things, you know. So experiencing what works for you and what doesn't. What works for others might not be working for you. Also, the mind is really stimulated, so we can get quite worried. Mercury is also the planet of planning and strategizing something. So this is telling you to have a strategy so that you can move on to your path. You are here to fulfill something. We are all here to fulfill something. And Mercury wants you to heal about that and think about um, why you are not on that road. It is telling you that you can have a writing project or your mission is connected to public speaking or empowering others or maybe even channeling as well something, channeling your own energy and courage into achieving a social goal or just a goal what you've got. So you can, you know, it's about being a spokesperson, really. It's about coming up with a concept and then uplifting other people and bringing some type of in um, enlightenment to your friends, to your surrounding, and also just to your goals as well. And then you can uh, 
you can, you know, accomplish something great. That's the base of it. Now let's have a look at how series actually comes into the picture. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. So series is about nurturing. So this is an invitation to nurture yourself and your communication through education, being listened to, talk to. Self-acceptance, it's about boosting your confidence that you are smart about something. Try to intellectually, you know, sometimes the problem is that we, we want to impress others intellectually, but actually it's about impressing yourself. You might have lost your voice and then it's inviting you to find your voice. This is about, you know, kind of like series is the planet of feeding. So you're going to have to feed your mind with, the, with positivity. It's about kind of like establishing an idea of what you've got and then working that. Because series is in the sign of Capricorn at the moment. Or you might want to talk about nutrition and diet. It can indicate that you have got talent in cooking or decorating food and all those type of things. Maybe you're going to have to look at, you know, your own physical body because it's in the sign of Aries, which is connected to sport as well. Or this is about having to learn to communicate clearly about your own needs. But series represents, uh, especially with the moon, the mom archetype. So maybe you're going to have to talk about your inner child. Maybe you're going to have to have a conversation. You're going to have to have the courage to have the conversation with your mom about something. Maybe mommy didn't talk to me during her pregnancy. Maybe she was just a little bit rigid or she focused a lot on her responsibilities or mommy worked extremely hard but she wasn't that type of cuddly type so having that conversation that you've got that wound somewhere maybe is going to be uplifting your own spirit as well some of you might have been pretty much raised by their nanny or relatives or siblings because mommy had to work extremely hard also you might have been the one who raised your younger siblings, and then you had all these responsibilities landing on you. And this is something that you're gonna have to tell others. Series is about growth as well. So North Node is growth. So this is all about growing your social media channels, growing your communication skills. This is about becoming a speaker, a spoke person, spokesperson, this is about wanting to say the right words. Aries might not help that a little bit, but Mercury is slowing down. So it looks like in the two, next two months, you will be able to find those ra uh, right uh, words. I mean, you know what? Series is, a, uh, sorry, um, Mercury is about selling something. So you are meant to be selling yourself, your own talent. And that comes through practice, Series says that, because that's growing as well. Uh, series can represent prosperity in our chart. So we've got the ability to grow that. It could also, I mean, you know, Mercury can represent sh such things as gossips. So do you take it personal or you're going to walk away from it or you're just going to confront someone about those, um, those um, you know, gossips and rumors? It could also indicate that you want to belong to someone, to a tribe, for example, to a community. Um, negatively, this is about self-talk. So what do you feed your mind with? Now, the other important planet, what we've got here is, of course, the moon coming into the picture as well. And that is also very important. This is only a five degree. A moon is already separating um, 20 degree, at the moment on cancer while we have got uh, while we've got this combination happening on 15 degree almost on 16 degree so when the moon comes into the picture this will talk to you about the ability to speak about your own feelings again this is something that is inviting us to be able to speak up about your trauma your emotional 
you know, that you got hurt somehow. And when you don't do that, then unfortunately it gets stuck and then it's impacting our relationship department as well. Moon and Mercury, you know, it can be a challenge because Moon is approaching things from a emotional point of view while Mercury is approaching from a logical point of view. So there's an invitation to bring the logic and the emotions together. This is asking you to acknowledge your intuition. This is asking you to express your feelings, maybe through writing, words, or any type of non-verbal communication. Maybe it's about the hugging. This is about, again, the fear to talk to a parent of yours about your wounds because they might misunderstand it. And then they're going to judge me or they're going to be angry with me. This is about the ability to talk about something that makes you angry. <clears throat> but it would be great to use your fantasy. It's brilliant to write uh, something. Uh, and also your voice can touch other people as well. So there is, this is actually inviting you to encourage others. If you feel that you have nothing to solve at the moment in your life, then this is encouraging others to actually speak about their problems. And you might find that people are actually coming to you to share their feelings with you. So guys, this is the aspect of the week. This is a shorter video, but I'm gonna break it down for all 12 signs so you can get additional information how to work with this in your current state of life. See you soon, bye-bye.